with me? Okay. Some of you try to silence me. I noticed that Rod is here again and he tries everything to silence this Icelandic guy. <laughs> but life is now. I do not want you to forget that we are here living with ALS MD today. Okay. And our, all our work, we have to remember this. Research is important, and we need to finance that. But this is not for the people of today. <clears throat> Our number one work in Iceland is, and I believe should be all of our work, is to help people who suffer today. Okay. What do we do in Iceland? <coughs> we meet at least once a month and share our experience. We meet the experts. We are the experts on our condition. And we rent an apartment for our family to stay when they come to visit the doctor. It's the only place they have until we did this was at the hospital and that's not a very good place to stay at unless you really need it. So today we have this apartment with all uh, equipment needed or standard equipment and people can come to, it's very near the hospital, so, and up to six people can stay there, not only the patient, health, uh, but also their family. <clears throat> Once a year we go to Hotel Selfos for a relaxing and educating four days. Well, through the years it has become more of relaxing and drinking, but <laughs> educating is always there. <clears throat> we went on a trip to Denmark this summer, uh, 22 of us, family and, and uh, carers, an excellent place to stay is Muso. And we do not charge our members for this. We use the money we, we collect from people in Iceland and they know that we are using this money to make life easier for our patients and more enjoyable. And uh, 
we have to enjoy every moment we possibly can. And of course, in July next year, we will welcome Rob Hope, Hope Rob Company in Iceland and learn from them and and hopefully share our experience there. Life is now and let's enjoy it and smile a bit if we can. Any questions? and I just wanted to thank you. Um, I wanted to just share something because life is now and I remember my first um, young family caregiving session with the ALS Association when my husband was diagnosed in 1995 and we met another young couple and um, the wife ended up getting cancer and dying um, as she was caregiving for her husband. So six months after I met her, she passed away, and her husband with ALS lived five or six years after she did. And that to me was an eye-opening experience that we do never know, so thank you for that reminder. It sounds like a really great um, service that you provide for people to make friends and gain support. Um, and I guess I wonder, um, how successful you've been in reaching out to every person with MND in in Iceland, and whether you've whether you've got essentially a hundred percent connection with, with with everyone. No way, no way. because <laughs> uh, few of us are just those kind that they don't want to reach out and enjoy life with us. They just uh, like to be on their own and die, usually, in peace. Uh, we, I, I try to tell people it's much for fun, more fun to live than die. And spending your time living is so valuable. Sure. But uh, due to these uh, restrictions in personal, uh, personal uh, legislation, we are not allowed to get their name. But we hand out to everyone who is diagnosed info on our uh, yes our association and we have done a good job stealing from you in UK <laughs> so we have this map H and everyone has and yeah, we try our best. Great, thank you.